Okay. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ, and on this channel, I love to infuse spirituality and practicality for the culture. If you're interested in topics as such, please like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anybody who would best benefit from the messages here today. So, to begin this reading, uh, we are going to do a pick a card today as for what is in store for you, okay? <clears throat> what is in store for you? What does God, what does Source want to let you know that's coming in for you, okay? Any blessings, any anything that could be headed your way right now, okay? So as always, um, if you are interested in a personal reading, that information will be in the description box below. Um, also, if you, you know, like the messages that you receive on this channel, if they resonate with you, and um, if you feel compelled, I will also leave, um, you know, just something if you just want to send something just to say thank you, okay? So what divine messages are in stored? What divine messages are coming? for my viewer to my viewers what divine messages are coming to my viewers okay so <clears throat> let's begin so we have pile number one and this is going to be a pink rose quartz crystal okay it's kind of like a tumbled crystal or kind of like just a a jagged uh crystal that looks kind of like a rock and then we have kind of like a smooth small tumbled rose quartz pile number two and then we have a pink himalayan salt rock this came from the philippines this was a friend of mine so it means a lot to me so we have that pink himalayan salt rock so we have a large tumbled rose quartz we have a small smooth tumbled rose quartz pile number two and then we have pile number three which is the pink himalayan salt rock okay I'll give you guys some time to pick your pile Take a deep breath, relax into the one that is for you, and we're going to begin. Okay, let me move these out the way. Okay, so let's begin. We have pile number one. You guys chose the large, kind of like jagged pink rose quartz, okay? Hmm. <clears throat> with this one this is giving me you guys really have a big heart you know you guys it's like that Rumi quote you have to break your heart multiple times in order to open it and this is what I got from this okay it's like a diamond in, in the rough so to speak okay so you guys have you guys kind of wear your heart on your sleeve you know whatever that may mean to you so I'm gonna put that right there so let's begin with your reading wow yeah Card number 11, we have I am whole, <clears throat> okay, I am whole. I make sure that every day and in every way, I remember that I am the full package that comes completely assembled. I know what I am and whose I am. I allow that origin story to fill my cup up until it runneth over, leaving me with more to give and share with humanity. I am whole. A lot of you guys could be seeing the number 11, could be seeing 1111, but you know, source, God, spirit, wants you to know that you're already whole and complete you are completely assembled you have everything you need within you to make manifest your destiny or whatever it is that you see fit you know whether that be love whether that be you know companionship whether that be you know kind of like stability in any regard you have it within you to you know um make that fulfillment to be fulfilled you could be seeing the number two as well one one that's two okay um but everything is okay that um is the message that is coming what's in store you're about to be bought whole again okay uh how you wear your heart on your sleeves and the love you have to give that's not in vain okay and uh source wants you to know that yeah higher power card number four okay now is an excellent time to stay in prayer right and neville goddard he's like um 
kind of like a thought leader from like the 1920s through the 1950s, I think. And he really believed in prayer isn't like begging God. Prayer isn't pleading, pleading with God for something. Prayer is knowing, okay? It's knowing, it is um, living in the end, so to speak. And that is what's in store for you. You are going to be putting all of your um, expectations, all your hopes, all your wants into a higher power, into something that is higher than yourself, okay? And by that, that's what's going to keep you whole. That's what's going to, you know, keep you going. As you can see here, this angel-like figure in this card has a key uh, has a kind of like a um, key opening to their third eye okay you guys could be you know having a lot of divine downloads right now you guys could be seeing things or dreaming <clears throat> having dreams that um, <clears throat> are kind of coming true in the uh, in this 3d reality that we live in on earth and um, something with your third eye you guys should definitely try to you know burn some incense or uh cater to that third eye chakra right now because that can help you in becoming whole or in or in filling a hole that you might fill in yourself right now <clears throat> yeah we have the five of cups <clears throat> oh excuse me yeah you guys could be you know having some type of throat throat chakra um maybe you guys feel like a lump in your throat you know like emotional right now here with the five of cups because it's interesting i'm getting like you know my words are getting caught up and i feel kind of like um it's hard for me to communicate right now but the five of cups we have the five of water this is the herb crafters tarot so it's golden seal this is a herb look that up guys that could be pertinent to um you know whatever it is that you're going through right now <clears throat> or it could solve some type of uh, issue you might be facing if you're facing anything uh, physical. But we have the five of water and that is the five of cups. And what that is saying is that, you know, you might have been feeling, you might have felt disheartened, you know, in the past. But, you know, no need to cry over spilled milk, okay? Take a look at what you do have instead of what you don't, what you feel like you don't have, okay? Because sometimes, I know that's easier said than done, but once we do that, once we look at the two cups that are still left standing, that is partnership, okay? That is that co-creation, that co-creator relationship with source, with the higher power that we need to always focus on, okay? Yeah, a time for healing. You guys are definitely in a state of healing right now. You guys are definitely in a transitional period. Uh, you guys could be Aquariuses, because um, I always think of, you know, that healing presence that is in the star card in the tarot when it comes, um, you know, to the water bearer, right? Um, but this is a time of healing. So pray, be prayerful, um, ask your angels, ancestors, and guides for connection, for um guidance right now because you will receive it yeah the shaman we have the shaman right here you guys could be feeling a very deep reverence it's almost like you're going through a dark night of the soul but this is something that you need to go through in order to um kind of be in that state of transformation and here with the shaman you're being asked uh you're being guided to um trust that inner shaman within and it's interesting because i'm using the herb herb crafters tarot golden seal you guys look that herb up because uh as we well know especially if you are interested in um like pick a card readings tarot readings you know kind of a more holistic um and a more like hidden approach to healing in 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 all of its aspect the shaman uses herbs to heal themselves psychologically physically emotionally and spiritually so you guys check that um check that herb out it's called golden seal okay and see what it could do for you see the healing properties of it the medicinal properties of it too okay and then we have card number 48 yod destiny your destiny could be to be some type of healer some type of shaman and that 
could be very correlated to what you have been through in the past okay but it seems like this is all tying in you could have a lot of healing powers okay because of what you've been through because of the things that you have seen and you have been through personally okay so for my pile number ones i kind of want to um pick some tarot cards for you just to round out this reading thank you god thank you spirit what else what else is in store for my pile number one spirit divine the insight for my pile number one spirit what else is in store for my pile number ones thank you, thank you. yeah it's like god the higher power is calling you to really um because you do have some type of like healing destiny right here with the shaman and we have the destiny card here and you might couldn't see it but your credentials lie in your experience right i heard that somewhere i don't know where but i heard it okay yeah we have dim bones this is the um hoodoo tarot and we have dim bones and this is the judgment card so it's almost like you're finding out something you're awakening to something right or you could be given a second chance uh, a second chance into something but i'm thinking you're awakening to something you could be awakening to your powers right now as a healer okay because whatever you've been through it's made you whole okay it's given you a sense of completion even through sadness or feeling disheartened with things at times. What else, Spirit? What else am I pile number ones? What else is in store for them? So there's some type of awakening. There's some type of calling that you need to adhere to right now for my pile number ones. What else, Spirit? Clear divine guidance was in the insight as to what else is in store for my pile number ones. Yeah, you're a leader. You're a leader. We have John Horse, which translates into the Emperor card, card number four. And John Horse's story was he led, he basically led, um, I think it, it's a southern story. He led, um, I think, the south, some type of like troops or slaves into like victory. And he was the only, only figure that the southern delegates or uh, the the confederates like um kind of like wave their white flags to okay so he is a very powerful figure and look he was guided by a shaman and i don't know if you guys could see that but that's the shaman that he was guided by so yeah you guys are being guided by a higher power and a higher calling right now and that's really what's in store for you is you to adhere that call and that guidance okay last card spirit last card pile number one what else is in store for them divine guidance was in the insight just wanted to come out yeah six of cups this could be a calling from the past it's like you maybe have felt and you known that this was a calling from you uh your spirit guides could also be um calling to you right now to help you in whatever endeavors that you're in but you know uh, you also could be called to kind of like think on the past in in the sense of what is it that bought you fulfillment? How can you adhere to the call of your inner child that bought you fulfillment when it came to creativity and healing? OK, you may also be healing inner child, you know, things that happen in your past childhood. You could be called and you could have a healing come that's in store for you okay but i'm getting with the six of cups here there's something emotional or your your spirit guides are with you with the six of cups and they want to gift you something they want to give you something okay your higher self that higher power is really connecting with you right now okay and in this depiction it could be like some type of like masculine figure because we have this little boy giving something to this uh, smaller girl right so it could be some type of masculine figure but it's like an emotional gift that's being given to you so i'm almost getting you your emotions is a superpower your sensitivity is a superpower okay and you you're being called right now to listen to it and to adhere to it and to allow it to make you into the leader that you've always you know been that you've always been destined to be okay so that's all that i have for my pile number ones if you guys like that message if it resonated with you please like share and subscribe share this video please help me out <laughs> help me get my um 
my pick of cards in the algorithm and yeah until next time i love you guys so much and thank you guys for watching my pick a card readings please take care okay so okay hey pile number twos welcome back to your pick a card reading so you guys picked kind of like the small smooth rose quartz i think you guys you guys are more than meets the eye people might think that you guys are just this small dainty type of figure but you guys are powerful you guys pack a punch it's like this rose court is so small but in reality it's really all that is needed you know what i'm saying it's intricate in its design and it may look smooth and gentle on the outside but it, it packs a punch it's powerful okay so let's begin you guys' reading pile number two i am magic what did i say card number 33 you guys could be seeing the master number three three a lot 33 use that as a confirmation that um <laughs> that um horn but you guys could be seeing uh master number 33 always think of the uh number 33 as a master teacher okay you guys could be seeing 333 a lot you guys could have a divine connection with jesus jesus died at 33 so you know take with that as you will but let's begin the message it says i am magic you guys are definitely that i am magic my very essence is magical and i witness and practice that magic through my highest self-expression because that is what i have been placed on this earth to do i am magic you guys are most definitely magical people uh you guys might be alchemists you guys might have a knack for turning a not so savory situation into the ideal one kind of like that euphemism turning base metals into gold but in reality all alchemy is is mental transmutation and a lot of you guys know that you guys have a, a knack for uh turning mental states that you know you might not want to be in and and flipping this flipping the script on it and turning it into into much more than than what you thought you could have initially round and round yeah you guys are very complex people card number 25 some of you may be 25 some of you you know maybe seeing the number 25 25 may be prevalent for you guys two and five is seven okay but it's something that you keep going maybe there's a lesson that needs to be learned here you kind of feel like you're going round and round in a circle like your life is is a spiral right now right round and round you could feel like you're on a merry-go-round like you know and you're waiting for it to stop. You're waiting to get off on your, your new destination in life. But something may be feeling very repetitive in your life right now. We have the star card, okay? But whatever it is, you're being guided, okay? Divinity is at work. Divinity is at play here. Um, this is the Herb Crafters Tarot, and it says cottonwood. You guys should definitely, definitely look up that herb, look up that plant. It could be very uh, prevalent into your um your transition right now or into your um your growth right now whatever's going on but whatever it is you're healing okay there's some type of healing that's going on with you and have hope continue to have hope and faith in your dreams and where it is that you want to go what what destination you want to find yourself in okay have faith in your dreams look <laughs> double confirmation here have faith in your dreams what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail what would you do how would you interact uh with life you know if if there was no limits to what you could do what would that be do it get on the path of doing that have faith in your dreams that's where hope comes into play they say faith is um things that are hoped for but aren't seen yet you know i'm paraphrasing but that's kind of what that euphemism stands for and what are your most magnificent dreams dream them and know that they are coming into fruition don't just think or you know hope hope is good but knowing is better right 
we have the four as well this card keeps popping out this card keeps popping out if you guys are you know uh, privy to any of my other um pick a cards the forest keeps popping out and you guys have found yourself in like a maze of such okay that maybe you did not know how you were going to find yourself out of but you are okay only the strong survive so to speak that's just what i got only the strong survive this maze of this forest and once they exited that portal this gemstone right here that kind of stands for that portal they got to see the beauty and witness the beauty through it all you know kind of like being able to see the forest through the trees you know seeing the bigger picture of what's going on okay so our last last card is card number 32 okay some of you guys could be 32 years of age and it's interesting because we have card number 32 and card number 33 and it's the eighth house endings and beginnings okay so there's a lot of transitions here for you pile number two that's really what you have in store uh but it's almost like you're upgrading there's like this upgrading um presence here that is lying within these um within this reading and it's like transmutation okay there's this transmutation you're like an alchemist okay okay so let's get some tarot for you guys what else does my pile number twos have in store spirit divine guidance gives them an insight into what else my pile number twos have in store for them thank you thank you thank you what does my pile number twos have in store for them what is coming into my pile number twos life divine guidance was an insight as to what is coming into my pile number twos life spirit thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you what else does my pile number twos have in store for them spirit divine guidance was an insight i'm not really want to pick this card yeah, balance. Okay, some of you guys might be uh, Sagittarius's, but we have balance. We have temperance. Like I said, alchemists. I was definitely getting alchemist vibes. You guys are turning uh, almost like water into wine. You guys are turning a bad situation, a quote-unquote bad situation, into a good situation here, okay? And patience is required, though. Patience is required. Temperance, right? To be tempered and grace you're being given grace right now pile number twos what else spirit divine guidance was in the insight into whatever it is that pile number twos need to know ten of cups yeah you guys are going to be very happy with whatever comes into being through all this okay emotional fulfillment emotional stability you know kind of seeing that rainbow at the end of the storm you know could also be dealing with the Pisces okay some of you may be Pisces emotional fulfillment we both see water in these depictions here and look the cups almost like a goblet turning water into wine what else spirit last card from a pile number twos what else is in store for them yeah king of wands we have the king of staves here you're being called to be a leader right now you're coming out of a very emotional kind of time and whatever leadership capabilities that are being brought out of you is going to make you very happy and it's going to make you emotionally fulfilled in whatever endeavor you're taking in and um you know you're just being called here to to lead and to be strong and to use that force to use that power the power what to use that um that power that lies within you okay um to succeed to make things happen you're a mover and you're a shaker right so um a lot of you, this could uh, you guys could be aries you guys could be leo or you guys could be a sagittarius like i said we have two wait hold on now no we have two sagittarius cards we have aquarius right here i think i said um yeah, so you guys could definitely be a, a Sagittarius's, but you guys are natural born leaders, okay? And um, people look up to you. People look to you to make the right decisions. So definitely use that fire, that flame, that uh, that movement, okay? Because you're you're taking flight right now. 
so thank you my pal number twos for joining me in uh, today's pick a card and that's all i have for you guys today if you're interested in a personal reading the my information will be in my description box below and if you're interested in just saying thank you um or just you know wanting to you know i don't know feel compelled to give i will leave the information in the description for that also thank you so much my pile number twos i love you so much and take care bye bye all right so certainly last but not least we have our pile number threes and you guys picked um this uh not a rose quartz this is a pink himalayan salt rock okay so to me i'm saying you guys are protected you guys are solid as a rock you guys are solid as a rock but still delicate still beautiful still you know intricate in your design and and, and who you are right but you're definitely guided and protected okay i am divine absolutely card number 10 i am divine my whole entire spirit is one with source and my state of divinity is my birthright plain simple and to the point you guys are definitely divine and you guys are being divinely guided somewhere you guys are being divinely protected in any endeavors that you choose to partake in and whatever you seek to do you are divinely protected okay you, okay yes we have card number 44 thinker there could be a lot on your mind right now my pile number threes with the thinker card here as you can see in this um in this artwork that we have like like a delicate little fairy and she's just thinking you know she's kind of caught up in her thoughts right now so you may be thinking about something past present or future that's going on and wondering like you're analyzing something you're wondering what what's going to come of it okay we have card number 44 you could be seeing 444 or the angel number 40 44 or 444 a lot but know that you're you're protected whatever that's going on you're guided okay and you know it might be a time to be analytical right now and it may not be a time to be analytical right now but just know that uh you know divinity is at play here you're being guided wow we have the mountain okay from pile number threes we have the mountain so you're definitely being guided you're definitely going through something you're definitely going through something and it's funny because pile number two have the forest and you can see here it's almost like you overcame the forest just to have to go through a mountain you know just have to walk through the mountain or trek up the mountain um the mountain is kind of giving me hermit vibes you guys could probably have been isolating yourselves or have really gone within to seek whatever you needed to to find to gain some type of clarity or or something in regards to um a situation could be another person but uh, you guys have probably been feeling like a little isolated and maybe this is self-imposed we have the ace of fire we have mullen um and uh this is from the herb crafters tarot so you guys should definitely look up moline or mullen it's a herb i hear the ancients used to kind of smoke it and it would it's kind of like a smokable herb so you guys should definitely check that out this could be something um you know this could help in regards to um you know your journey or whatever you're going through right now this type of herb and the ways you can use it medicinally spiritually emotionally I don't, I don't think it has to be smoked but i think uh you know you guys could make maybe make some tea or something um but yeah so we have this is the ace of wands this is a new opportunity okay passion vigor is coming into your life right now and this could be after this hermity situation after this hermity stage of your existence right so we have balanced spirituality with practicality full moon and pisces you guys could also be pisces but right now it's almost like god source spirit is asking you to be balanced right now to to um intertwine the light and the dark okay the masculine and the feminine and to don't be so heavenly bound that you are no earthly good that's what i got i know that's a quote um i think by wendell holmes or something i think don't quote me on that you guys could look it up for yourself but don't be so heavenly bound that you're no earthly good always keep grounded and remain grounded but also keep in your crown chakra you know keep thinking you know 
they say i think therefore i am i'm getting a lot of quotes with you guys yeah you guys are definitely cerebral right now you guys are definitely in your head we have card number nine uranus genius okay so it could be a lot going on with your mental state right now you guys could just be thinking uh very like high vibrational thoughts you guys could be evoking some type of genius right now that's within you or you definitely should be okay sorry guys i got my camera cut off but you guys uh should be thinking very like you guys may you guys are just thinking a lot okay and it could be because you're very intelligent you know uh intelligent people you know we all have our our certain um you know realms of intelligence but intelligent people they tend to live in their head right they tend to live in their head and i think that's what's going on with you guys but you guys do exude a lot of like fire and tenacity okay but make sure you just stay balanced and that's what's in store for you my child number threes is you guys are kind of coming out of your head and coming out into the world you guys are transmuting that uh those thoughts into actions right now okay so that's what i'm seeing what's in store with you pull some tarot to round off your reading thank you god thank you spirit what else does my pile number threes need to know as to what is in store for them what is coming up from my pile wow <laughs> for my pile number three spirit divine guidance was in the insight as to what is in store for my pile number three spirit thank you thank you thank you okay what is in store for my pile number threes last messages yeah teamwork okay so it seems like a team of people are coming in um or you're being called to work with other people and you're manifesting something um here with this card i've always kind of i've been hearing a lot lately like it's like the fire triangle and the water the the symbol of fire which is like i think the upward triangle and then the symbol of water which is a downward triangle and that is basically manifestation so your manifestations are coming into play and that could be involved with other people okay here with the three of pentacles what else spirit clear divine guidance was in the insight into what else is coming in from our pile number three so what else is in store from our pile number three so you guys are definitely making manifest right now yeah we have the hierophant so it's interesting we have three figures in this card three figures in that card and it's you know something you're being divinely guided you're very wise that's why you're thinking even when i pulled up uh when i kind of referred to the mountain as giving me hermit vibes hermit energies you guys are very wise you guys could be a leader and people may be coming to you because of your wisdom okay you may guide people okay you may be a force like a almost like people go to when they need questions answered okay could be a tourist could be dealing with higher institutions right now but it's like you're manifesting something here and it may be it may be divinely a divinely guided manifestation okay what else spirit uh last message for my pile number threes what is in store for my pile number threes yeah two of swords interesting yeah we have at the bottom of the deck the four of swords and you're coming out of a state of stasis you're almost like coming out of a state of um how can i put it coming out of state of retreat um and you're coming out of a state of um meditation like like the hermit like a focused meditation like meditative state right now and you're making the decision to do that you're making the decision or you need to be making a decision and not feel stalemated you want to be logical right but you're you've been a little guarded lately okay but it seems like you're making the decision to come out of that and to work with people, you know, to do what you love. And that could be what is in store for my pile number threes. Okay, it's interesting. We have two and three. So it's almost like you've made the decision already to work with people, to get more, to get out there more, to come out of this thinker mode, to come out of this hermit mode, and to get out there and to help um, your your fellow beings because that is what you're 
that is kind of like what you are called to do okay and whatever is coming in it's manifesting and it's interesting because it's like these two people i don't know if it's a monk i don't i forget what they're called but this person these all relate we have two and three it's like the gradual transition to being alone to being within the public and then this person is also seeking higher understanding higher knowledge from this like gatekeeper of god okay but you're being given the keys right now. You're being given an insight, okay, into what it is that you need to do next on pile number three. So that is what I'm seeing. That's what's in store for you, okay? If that resonated, this message resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anybody who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. I love you guys so much. Please take care and stay blessed. If you are interested in a personal reading, my um, information will be in the description box below. You can email me and I'll give you the information information and where to um set up a um an appointment to get that reading okay i love you guys so much please take care bye bye